everything's been going great. You've been writing and producing lots of work and maybe even publishing and selling. It's all great until suddenly... You may not even have noticed it creeping up on you, but then one day you go to write and blah, it just doesn't sound like something you want to do. What happened? Should you be worried? Have you lost that writing spark for good? Or is there something that can be done? Stay tuned to find out. If you've recently finished a book launch, or maybe you've just finished writing an entire book length manuscript, wrapped up a book blog tour, or a big project like that, then it's probably that you're just a little worn out and need to take some time off. Most of us, if we get into a writing funk, think of this possibility first. The good news is it's easy to find out if this is what's bothering you. Take a few days off of writing, just get away from the screen and restore yourself. If things get better after that and you're eager to get back to your writing, then that was the only problem and you're good to go. Be careful. If you're one of those really overachieving writers who's primed to produce all the time, you may have a hard time taking a real break. That may be part of the reason why you're in a writing funk, is you just haven't given yourself some real time off. If you find that when you take a few days away from writing, you're feeling guilty because you're not writing, this might be you. Think about taking a break as being part of what you do to be a good writer. If you find after a week or two of not writing and taking a real vacation, you still don't really feel like writing, then fatigue wasn't the problem in the first place. You may be tired, yes, but it's likely that something else is going on too. Let's take a look at some of the symptoms that most writers experience when they're going through a I don't want to write kind of funk. See if any of these sound familiar to you. You have a general feeling of apathy toward the work. My story? Who cares? You don't feel any energy or joy in the writing process. You're kind of stressed out because the writing isn't flowing and you worry something is really wrong. You feel a lack of excitement about any new projects. They all strike you as the same old, same old. You find writing or even the subject of writing kind of irritating. You may feel generally depressed or have an underlying sense of malaise following you around on most days. When you try to write, maybe you get something done, but you don't really have any feelings about it. It just sits there on the page. Maybe you have difficulty focusing on a project. Your attention easily wanders. Maybe you go to the computer fully intending to write, but your creative ideas seem to have all vanished. You wonder if maybe your writing days are done, and you don't know what step to take next. If any of these sound familiar to you, then you're definitely in a writing funk. Let's fix that. marriage, a divorce, a job change or a job loss, a serious illness, all of these things can seriously derail your writing. Even events in your writing life, such as a bad review or a book that doesn't sell very well, can create a big setback in your writing progress. To see if this may be affecting you, get out a computer or a journal and write down your answer to these questions. I feel disappointed about, and go ahead and fill in your response. Next, I feel discouraged because, and finally, after blank happened, Everything changed, and now I'm doing... Once you discover the source of your negative feelings, try talking it out with a friend or journaling about it and see if you can process those feelings that way so that this burden that you may be feeling right now will lift. Particularly if you've been working really hard on your writing goals, burning the midnight oil, and skipping your exercise workouts, it's common to start feeling really draggy and like you just don't want to face the screen anymore. Studies have shown that when you neglect your health, that your thinking can slow down too. Your attention wavers more easily and your creativity tends to fall off. To fix this, all you have to do is build back your machine, your body. Take two weeks to make physical health a priority. Go back to eating healthy foods, getting seven to eight hours of sleep per night, and making sure to exercise at least 30 minutes a day. Then try to add a stress relieving activity too, like yoga or meditation, tai chi, journaling, pet therapy, anything like that that can help you shed some of that stress you may be feeling. Then see if the desire to write doesn't naturally start coming back to you. Especially if you've signed like a two or three book deal with a publisher and you're feeling pressured to turn in the stories, this can really start hitting you and creating a writing funk. This can also happen if you've gotten to the point where you're feeling that it's almost too easy to write a book. Maybe you've written several and you're starting to get into sort of a rut. You're not feeling challenged anymore and creativity tends to thrive on a challenge. The way to fix this is to learn something new and to challenge yourself once again. How can you tell if you're really bored? List all the things you like about what you're writing 
writing right now. Then list all the things you don't really like. Compare the two lists and see which list is longer. If you've got more things you don't like about what you're writing, then you may be in a place where you're just getting bored with what you're producing. If you decide you are bored, it's time to think about solutions. Maybe you can write on another project at the same time. Start something new, try a new genre that you haven't done before, or find out how you can stretch the boundaries of the genre that you're in. Get a new writing craft book and read it, and see what else you might introduce into your stories that would make them exciting for you again. Find a way to make what was old new again, and that will spark your creative energy. Most writers tend to go all in. Writing isn't just a hobby for us. It is an identity. We are writers. So when something goes wrong with the writing, it affects not just the writing part of our lives, but our whole lives. That can be good and bad. It's good when it compels you to put your best effort into your work, but not so good if a disappointment causes you to go into a writing funk to where you can't produce anymore. Writing can be a lot of things to us, but it can't be all things. Sometimes when something happens or you realize that writing isn't going to give you everything, it can be a big letdown. Ergo, writer's funk. If you think this might be the reason for your writing funk, the solution is simply to go back to expanding your life. Try this. Write down everything you've been doing except for writing. Have you been spending time with friends? Have you been working out? Have you been taking part in social activities that you used to enjoy? Are you spending time with your family? Are you engaging in your other hobbies? Are you teaching or developing your other talents? Traveling? Learning new things? If your list of what else you've been doing besides writing is really short, that's probably the reason for your writing funk. The solution is simply to get back into those things. Try stepping outside the page and see what happens happens. This can be a scary one, especially if you've been writing for a while. It may be part of your identity and it may be scary to think about letting it go. Or maybe it doesn't scare you. Maybe that's what your writing funk is all about. You've just had it with writing and you want to go do something else. But you're not sure that you should because you're a writer. This can feel like a dark place to be, but don't worry. All you have to do is stop and listen to what this message is telling you. Most likely your intuition is speaking to you and saying, hey, you need a break for one reason or the other. One thing that can help is to talk to a seasoned writer. I had a writing mentor once who spoke about having quit writing several times over his long career. He would seriously quit and go do something else for a while, and then the writing bug would bite him again and he'd go back to writing. Examine what you want to do right now, where your passions are leading you. Write some of those down. It may be very possible that what you should be doing with your life right now is something entirely different from writing. The point is to give up trying to be in control. Just surrender to the feeling and journal about it and see what it's trying to tell you. Have the courage to let go of how you think things should be and let them be as they are.